and I'm creating a sort of like a trifold with some designer paper and some acetate and I'm making it up as I go along so I have no idea about what I'm going to do. I've got the design in mind but that's about it. And I tend to chop and change and start a design for a particular page, but then it ends up down and on another page. So trial and error is my method of creating a mini. So I've um, already scored it, but I need to change that because the front piece needs to cover the whole um, area there. So as none of the striped pattern is showing. And I actually used the same piece of design paper there again, so I've got a, a score where there shouldn't be. Um, so I eventually strengthen that with um, adding some um, other paper over the top of the um, sections. So now I'm just cutting a piece of the same designer paper and this is for the side section. I'm just using the Fiskars Scallop Border Punch. And it didn't quite um, punch, so I'm just cutting off the bits of white pieces there. And I still don't know what I'm going to do it, um, how I'm going to incorporate it. So now I've gone back and I'm re-scoring where it should have been scored in the first place. Okay, so now I'm happy with the way that it's coming along and attaching the acetate. To the designer paper.
and I'm using the chipboard there um, to give that side section um, a bit of height so that you can add a photo uh, behind that acetate section. Yep, so I finally worked out what I was going to do with it. So now I'm going to attach that designer paper to the chipboard. Oh, but first, um, inking all the edges with the espresso dabber. Just inking the edges of that strip there, the scalloped edge strip. And I'm thinking that was with vintage photo distress ink. So I'm using dimensional um, squares there to um, adhere the acetate to that um, chipboard piece. Now adhering the scalloped designer piece to the top of the acetate and that will hide the um, dimensionals there. Just testing it out. I just adhered some um, dimensional to the underside of that strip and now also need to raise the um, bottom section of it so just covering a piece of chipboard with some designer paper and then attaching it to the acetate strip at the bottom and then attaching another piece of chipboard to it and that'll give me the height that I want and going over the edges with the espresso ink and now also painting those outside dimen uh, dimensional squares there um, with the Adirondack um, dabber and now about to glue down that entire piece to the page. And that extra um, score mark was concerning me, so I've just taken some, taken some journal cardstock there and distressing it with some vintage photo distressing, um, and then also going around the edges with the frayed burlap, and now just adhering that to the inside cover of that trifold. And I do that. Um, uh, add some more embellishments to that down the track so thanks for watching and stay tuned for part four bye